We're here at Sun and Fun, and we wanted to come by and have a look at the ECI engine that's used on, let me see if I can remember them all. Cupcrafter started with this engine. American Legend uses the engine. Uh, the Zlin, known as the Savage, and it's now known as the Outback from Sport Air USA uses this engine. We also indicated it's in use on the RV9 and I'm sure some other places. Yeah, that's right, that's right. There is a lot of applications for the engine, a lot of little projects, guys building his engine out, his airplane out there, they are using this particular one. Because it's a 320 size pack engine, so if you have your cowling ready for that configuration at 320, you can add those 20 extra horsepower right there. Okay, so that's a good introduction to it. We're going to get into a little more detail. I'm Dan Johnson. This is Mikel Soto. He is from Monterey, Mexico originally, but now uh, headquartered in San Antonio, Texas, you said. Yeah, that's right. San Antonio, right. Texas. So tell me a little bit about some of the particulars of the engine. I'm going to get out of the way of it for the camera's benefit here. Um, give me some of the basics about the engine and uh, not, not great detail, but give me the high level view. Of it. Okay, the high level view is really simple. The engine start as a FA PMA direct replacement parts, so everything is a 320 engine. Dimensionally wise, everything is a 320 engine. And the only thing that changed between the 320 and 340 is the crankshaft and connecting rods. Okay. The crankshaft has a little more stroke. That's where the extra 20 horsepower. This had been a 160 engine then, 160 horsepower. Yeah. And it's now 180, and that's how you got that. Exactly. Okay. The stroke. Continue on, please. Okay. So that's the stroke and. Because we are the manufacturers, we manufacture all the parts in home, in house, down in San Antonio. We all, can, all of them. Wow. Well, we have vendors that supply, you know, springs okay. and little pieces, but the big machining parts like the cranks, camshafts, crankcases, oil sumps, and cylinders, we make all of those parts at home. Okay. So, because we do that, we can go with whatever engine mount you have in your project, like a conical mount or dynafocal one, two, or two, we can do that. Okay, you can accommodate the we, mount there, exactly. not forcing the mount to accommodate your engine. Exactly. Okay, okay, that's probably a benefit to the airframe manufacturer. Oh, sure it is. Sure it is. Okay, so talk to us a little bit about uh, oh, uh, performance. We talked about the power, but any other numbers, uh, endurance typically. And I know these things vary by airframe. Uh, but burn rate of the fuel, uh, maintenance, uh, time between overhaul, things like that. Well, the good deal using a like coming clone based engine. So your all your performance is based the same. Okay. It's, it's just throttle management, the thing that you need to accommodate, you know, you, if you go wide open, the power don't come for free, you're going to burn more fuel, sure, that's, of course. that's a rule, right? But if you back it up, you're going to be consuming the same as a 320, so you can do a baby cruise, you know, 2300, keep the engine cool, you are doing the same as a 320, but you have the ability of that extra power, but you can juice it some juice more, it some more for a go around, Climbing out of a short strip, exactly. uh, mountains in front of you, or a go around, or so things like yeah. that. Or you just want to have more fun. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And then what is the max burn rate on it? I mean, if you're power to the metal all the way, what do you? If you are, you are all the way wide open. You are, you're going to be seeing numbers like 10 gallons per hour. All right, well, 10 is not so bad to get all that. Yeah, when I normally 320s, so eight. Eight, okay, and if you back it off all the way and you're just out there sightseeing and you're not really not worried about going past, you don't need any climb, what can you bring it back to and just loiter? Yeah, exactly like a like a standard 320. Yeah, and then what then what would the burn rate be? The eight, six five eight. Six point five to eight, something yeah, like that. Something like that. Okay. Depending fuselage and Tell me about weight of the engine, and I don't know what you can compare it to. I suppose the 320, but if you have any comparative numbers uh, for okay. other engines, on the on the 320 on the 320 engine we have 250 pounds, okay. probably on a on a stock. Uh, would that be all equipment. the component parts? No, that's a uh, dry weight without accessories. Without accessories, yeah. okay. So what would be, uh, you maybe know the numbers for Cup Crafters, which is a uh, mm -hmm. major engine well known to the, those yeah, of us. That on on, like on those kind of configurations, because we can play with different allo alloys, we can do magnesium accessory case, okay. like this one that we have here, and magnesium oil sump. That drops the weight considerably because we are running electronic ignition on the cup crafters, for example. Uh, we are running the, mag the magnesium accessory case that really you get rid of all the pads, all the studs, everything that is that we don't use when you put electronic ignition. I see. So you get rid of all that extra weight and you are looking something 
around 225 to 130 pounds. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty considerable weight savings. Yep. And electronic is the way you can do that. We can do electronic. We can stay always with our regular standard bulletproof magnetos. We can do a very bulletproof now Pmax, and we can go with light speed. It's really popular for a lightweight. And now we're introducing the, the EFI2. It's complete electronic management, almost, almost uh, no mixture control you need on the EFI2. Almost fed it. You have a mixture almost. control, but you're not using it very much. It's a little, it? it's a little that, um, dimmer. They just fine tune it. Oh, okay, not but not the old push not pull rod. Okay. okay, it's I complete see. electronic. You take off. I mean, when you're in cruise, okay, let me lean it back a little bit. That's the only time that you touch the mixture adjustment on the EFI too. Now, we did do a pilot report, a video pilot report with cameras and all that on the uh, Cub Crafters with your engine in it, and uh, it was exciting. Right, about 1,800 feet a minute, as I recall, and uh, we just shot away from the runway. Uh, 65. But we did then pull it back after we got the joy ride out of it, and, uh, yeah. and then we cruised around, and it seemed like a really nice running engine. What's the history of the engine? How long is well, tell me about the, the Titan engine history, the company, and then let's talk specifically about this one being used in the light sport area. Okay, as a, as a quick reference, um, the company started doing the chrome plating for the old radials back in World War II. That's, okay. that's how we started. Okay, you got a rich, long history then. Yeah, so to do it fast, so we started doing that. World War II over, came back to general aviation. We started to do overhaul on light okay. and continental cylinders doing the same process there. Not manufacturing yet. Not manufacturing at that point, we just, just doing plating, plating and overhaul the heads. Okay. You know. And a little steps we start to do a little steps we start to do valves, pistons, ring packs, manufacturing thing, manufacturing those okay. little things. One thing take you to the next one like, well what about if we do the connecting rod? And at the time was okay, we are almost ready, we just need a crankcase and we have an engine. <laughs> so we finished with a complete engine assembly and we start the project as an engine kit build. So all the engine shops around the nation, they was distributing our engines on the engine kit format, so they build it for you. And from two years now we start the factory build. So now we run it, we test it in-house on the dyno, water break it. We do the whole testing in-house and deliver it to you, okay. ready to bolt on and ready to go. And how many engine types are you doing? We're talking here about the one that's in the light sport aircraft. How yeah. many other ones do you have? Give me a quick answer on that. Well, on, on that one, we have, you know, the 320 size engine. We go, we stroke the crank and we go the 340. So that's a compact one. Okay. On a 360 size engine, that is a little wider, we stroke it once and we do the 370. And then we add the flying corner weights that we call the 371. And then we stroke it again to a bigger stroke, that's a bigger engine, is the 409. And now this show, this particular show, we are introducing our new 540, wow. the six cylinder. And we are introducing our new front prop corner drive for the four cylinder engines too. Okay. So we are coming with a lot of products. And what does that governor do for, uh, what does a pilot get out of that? Well, you have the best of two worlds, you know, you have all the performance of your engine, adding the climb prop, short takeoff, better climb, and better cruise. That's when you put a constant speed prop on it in there, so you have, you need to have the prop cover okay. there. So in the LSA world, we don't use those parts, but uh, this is a, a cutaway version, obviously, yep. of the engine that's used on so many of those airplanes that have gotten a, a good response. Are you enjoying the business out of the light sport world? Oh yeah. We, we, we like you guys come and pay us a visit and, and we like to help you as much as we can. So if everybody has a question or you wanna, they, the people wants to know what else we can do for light sport, we are going to be trying to be pushing it. So you'll take on another airplane if one comes to you. Oh yeah. All right, well thank you Miguel. You gave us a lot of good information and uh, now I just want a website from you so people know how to come and get even more and make contact with Yeah, sure, sure. Our website is eci.aero so you guys can play around and, and it will be fun if you can contact us and we are happy to answer anybody's question about And all that's done in, in San Antonio, Texas? Yeah, we are, we are based in San Antonio. We are a family-owned company. Oh, okay. We are still we are still in a family-owned company and we are proudly made in Texas. So all of our parts are manufactured down there. All right, very good. Well, lots more information about the airplanes using the ECI engine, the Titan engine, and many others that are in the affordable aviation range available on bydanjohnson.com. Thank you so much for joining Miguel Soto and myself here at Summit Phone.